Hey YouTube, what's up? It's uh, Wednesday, February 27th. Um, been a while since I've made an update. Um, hate to be broken record, but things have been really busy for me uh, in the way of work and uh, personal projects and just different stuff that's going on. Um, yeah, I don't know where to start. Uh, no real changes really from being on T. Uh, still the same problems that I've been talking about in other videos where I feel like my voice is actually deeper than I talk in and I just tend to go up uh, for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just trying to sound overly polite all the time and my voice just seems to go up but uh, I don't think it gives me away. Um, I haven't had any problems passing in recent memory uh, on the phone because of my voice or anything so uh, yeah that's that's been good but yeah just more body hair. Um, getting a lot of chest hair, which is sort of awesome and sort of gross, because uh, I, I, I feel like, well, let me explain. So I think it's sort of gross because I haven't had top surgery yet. Um, so it's just like the juxtaposition of hair sprouting up everywhere it makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but that's an excellent segue because uh, I'm planning on getting top surgery sometime this year. Um, I haven't really done any preliminary stuff that I should be doing, like uh, booking with the surgeon or anything, um, but I'm planning on doing that soon because I'd like to get it by the end of the summer if possible. Um, I've been holding off partly because I, I seriously don't know when I would do it timing-wise. Um, my mom had had surgery and just it was like, you know, the time never really worked out where I felt like I could take, you know, two weeks off from life to get it done. Um, and also financial reasons. Uh, I've just been saving money and now I'm at a place where I can drop, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars on it because I'm more than confident my insurance won't cover it. Um, but yeah, that's really it in the way of uh, transition updates. Um, oh, screen went out. Um, but yeah, so. The only reason why I wanted to make a video, what really prompted it, was because I'm a damn idiot and I wanted to uh, make like a mini PSA um, about the importance of wearing a binder that fits you properly. Uh, because since I started T, like when I first started T, uh, I got a small Underworks 997 binder, um, which worked out really well. Um, but I, I had a little bit of a smaller frame and since starting T like I won't say I bulked up because I haven't bulked up um, But I have put on like some some muscle and probably some weight and so I am not the 34 35 sort of uh, Size that I was when I did the sizing chart way back then um, I'm probably more like a 36 37 so I was squeezing myself into the small underworks binder um, for a very long time and I am more than confident that as a result of doing that uh, for 12 hours a day instead of the 8 hours a day that you're supposed to be binding uh, every single day instead of taking breaks um, that I have been developing some really terrible digestive problems like heartburn um, just upset stomach all the time because since it's the full length binder there was also like a tremendous amount of pressure on my stomach at all times um, so pretty much not a day went by where I didn't feel nauseous at some point um, if I'd eat a big meal, I'd feel like I was going to die afterwards. It was absolutely terrible. And despite the nagging of my girl, well, I won't say nagging, she's not nagging, but my girlfriend telling me, you know, I'm being an idiot and I need to get the bigger size, I just, I never did it. Um, and I think part of it was just the uh, insane dysphoric thought of, well, if I get a bigger size, maybe I won't be as flat because, you know, despite all the digestive problems and lightheadedness and feeling like my ribs were gonna crack, which I know I'm smiling, but I'm serious. Like, it, they're really serious issues and I didn't take them seriously um, at the time, but I am now, because enough's enough. Um, yeah, despite all of that, I, I really did not want to, in my head, wear a medium and then not be as flat. Because the one good thing that binding in a small did for me was it made sure that my chest was like flat as a board. Um, and I should also say that I'm not, I don't have a large chest by any means, um, and I never have, and since starting T, it's, it's probably like, you know, an A cup, if, if we're going to use that measurement, but, you know, when you're dysphoric, and for whatever reason that happens to me, you know, every couple of weeks or so, I'll just have this one bad morning, it's like the thought of, of trying to get a, a, t a looser binder, was just like absolutely out of the question. 
Well, after like a very nauseous, <laughs> nauseating week, um, I finally decided to get the medium from Underworks, you know, the same model, the 997. Um, and I just tried it on today, and Jesus Christ, like, what a what a difference it made. I, I was still flat, um, so, I mean, immediately I knew that it was all in my head, this worry that I had, but I felt like I could take a deep breath, and that was something that I realized that I hadn't been able to do for months. Um, and I, I felt like an idiot when I when I first put it on because I was like, wow, you know, I've been I've been living with these stupid side effects of wear of binding way too tight for me for months, and I haven't done anything about it. Um, and I was just trying to look the other way, and now you know it, it just made me feel dumb. But at the same time, it was like, all right, whatever. At least I know now that I was doing stupid stuff. Um, and, you know, I'll probably, I, I've got some friends in the community, I'll probably try to give away my small binder, although it's in pretty rough shape. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I just know that I can't go back to that after putting on the medium and realizing what a difference it makes. So, wear the binder that is appropriate for your body type, and uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because, I mean, I've known guys that have cracked ribs. Luckily, it didn't come to that for me to realize that I was being a fool. Um... But yeah, so that's just a friendly warning. Uh, popping Gaviscon and Tums every day is no way to live if you have heartburn like I did, um, or feeling lightheaded every time you stand up because it's too tight. And as I've said in other videos, don't use ace bandages, duct tape, everyone will tell you that. It's just, it's terrible. It's not designed for that. Um, it'll just hurt you even worse. But yeah, so that's my PSA and my little update. And like I always say, uh, hopefully I will be making a video of more substance. Actually, I might, um, in all seriousness, because uh, my girlfriend and I are going to go to Puerto Rico next week, actually. Um, and even though, like, I haven't updated my passport, so we picked Puerto Rico in part because I only need my uh, driver's license. Uh, so. Oh, uh, no. Alright, my computer froze. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, so you don't need uh, your passport, you just need your driver's license. Um, so we're going to go there, but I'm still like really wary about going through airport security and seeing what happens, um, even though I feel like I don't need to be, but I'm just like waiting to get brought into like a private room and interrogated or something like that. The last time that we tried to get on a plane, they thought that my girlfriend was smuggling C4, no joke. Um, it turned out to be two, uh, Snickers bars that her mom put in the carry-on, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm, like, just waiting for, like, ten guys to come running out and be like, you know, we got a problem with you. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, hope all is well with, uh, all you guys, and like I said, more to come later.